My name is Richard Dodo and I'm the CEO of Nelson Technologies. Nelson Technologies is an app development company. We specialize in Android application development and iOS apps. Currently, we have three games which are currently out there. Gods and King is Ashanti Kingdom and um, Rise of the Warrior, Africa Rise of the Warrior. Uh, Gods and Kings, all our games have mostly to project African values to the world and that's the main purpose of our, our development team to project African values to the world. And when you take out for one of our projects, let's say Ashanti Kingdom, you see the royalness of Ashanti Kingdom being documented in a game form. So you see a compounder chain enchanting the golden steel from the skies. Uh, it's it's a beautiful experience. Currently, they are not on the market yet. We removed all the app from the market, but it should be on the market. I think after February 2016. Yeah, everything should be on the market by then. I think the first day I okay, the first training I had, I started with my school fees and some yeah, so about five hundred cities and I broke even and I paid my school fees. The nineteen university of course, I don't know, at eighteen. Mm -hmm. I should have been nineteen. Nineteen, yeah. I should be nineteen when I started and I think what really motivated me, I knew so much and I saw people who were hungry for uh, like big card knowledge, especially people come to you, oh Richard, how do you do this? This is basic. Then you teach them, so okay, this is good. And it's like people were really hungry. I saw it as an opportunity to harvest a fund. So I think my first training, I had about 40 participants. That's if I'm right, I can't really remember, but yeah, the class was kind of very large and it was on campus, uh, K. Buzia lecture room. So I didn't have, we all I you asked the people, oh, come along with your laptops. Very good. Most of them had laptops. I think just about one or two we had to provide them with. So they come along with their laptops, then you plug. It's so cool. I just wish it's just a painful experience. I don't have pictures. It's like, you watch those days and look at how far you've come. It's so inspiring. Economics. Okay, it's we be becoming a developer, it's more about passion. Yes, yeah, so I was just so passionate to learn, hungry to learn, you know. Yeah, how is this thing done? What is being done here? And that's how everything is. I I more of like did online tuition so you get this tutorial and you just get to say hey i have a link that tutorial on web development okay give it to me let me go through and you get through it and you know it's been it's been good everything mostly i started everything from tutorial to tutorial then get some very good books to assist you and you are back so soon good. Okay, with MTN's app challenge, I think it was a very good platform for me uh, because I wanted more of like some amount of credit. Okay, a developer, what do you know about you? But you go to places and you say, hey, and you want MTN app challenge? Yeah, so you know, it has some amount of. Um, but the price tag, I want to award so I want second for um, education, then most promising developer. There's everything telling up to 7,000 cities. I know. But, well, I think that, yeah, that was the total. Oh, I, I, think, I think the MTN app challenge is a very good platform for, for any bad developer. Like, you just start an app, you can use the one, and if you're very good to, it has some amount of credibility to you. You know, you're going up for projects. Oh, so what have you done? Oh, I want the MTN. Oh, okay, you know, it already has some amount of credibility. And if your project is very good, MTN helps you to project the, uh, the, the app to the world. Yeah, so currently we are into some negotiation, we are into some distance to see how they can help my 
team bring up a very good experience to the world. It's a very good uh, challenge which I really encourage most people.